It is very, very hot outside. And last night, a mosquito bit me on my face twice because it couldn't have bitten me anywhere else in my body, which wouldn't show to everyone in the world. It had to bite me twice on the face. What are you doing now? Uh, my parents are down, going down to the beach. Hey. He's very smiley these days. Everyone's talking to him. He's having a great time. He's going to be bored with us when we get home. Yeah. What do you have? I have the dogs having sex. Funny. There's a whole bunch of old ladies right beside the cart and they're watching you pick up your perverted dogs. <laughs> so anyways, we were allowed to bring two suitcases that weighed 23 kilos each to Cuba and we actually ended up packing for um, Hello. for all three of us we ended up only packing one suitcase that weighed 23 kilos and get out and so what we did was we packed a second suitcase full of like um, baby clothes and some bras and some things to give away um, but I had a couple garbage bags full of clothes for like babies for myself like it's just a whole bunch of clothes at home that stop that I wasn't using anymore and so I really wish, I really really wish that we would have just borrowed another suitcase from somebody and, and checked as many bags as we could and filled them with things to give away because it's crazy what you can and can't get here. One of the guys that we met in the market, his sister-in-law just found out that she's pregnant and it was a surprise pregnancy and so I had brought maybe like 10, 10 or 12 baby outfits and I gave them to him to give to his sister-in-law and it's funny because I told him on Tuesday that we would that we would bring it to him and so he said he went home and he told his sister-in-law okay um, some people at the resort have some clothes for your baby that they're gonna give to you and so on Friday we went back to the market with the clothes and he saw us and he said oh so I really I'm so like glad that you didn't forget about me I told my sister-in-law that I was gonna get the clothes from you guys but I told her not to get her hopes up too much because you know, I wasn't sure if you were going to forget or if you weren't going to come back. And I'm like, no, no, you can have them. And we asked if he would be here again today. Um, and he said yes, because today is our last day. So we are going to bring the stroller to him right before we leave, which is going to be kind of a pain at the airport, but whatever. They need it more than we do. Ten minutes of misery. And two yeah, hours exactly. Of misery for... Two hours of misery for his the whole lifetime of their children. But yeah, he said that... His, his brother, who's married to his sister-in-law, he makes, um, he works as a bus driver. So they work six days a week, eight hours a day here, and he makes 16 convertible pesos a month, which is, a month, which is equal, equal to like 16 American dollars a month. And, and it's crazy because like in a lot of countries that you go to, like if you go to India, you'll see, oh, they make a lot less than us, but then everything there costs a lot less. But here, it's crazy, like, because he said even though that he makes 16 convertible pesos a month, for a stroller they will still pay 40 convertible pesos. For baby clothes they'll still pay 5 or 6 convertible pesos each. So it's very, very hard and you rely a lot on um, other people who have had kids in your family and stuff to give gifts to you because it's, it's just extremely hard to afford anything here. So he was so, so grateful and he's very, very excited to take the stroller for her and his sister-in-law really, really wanted to come to the market with him where he works today so that she could meet us because he said that we were going to come back and give her our stroller but he's going to be there for like 10 hours today and she's pregnant and it's really, really hot outside and there's like no shade or anything there so he said that she couldn't come but she really wanted to meet us so that was cool but I don't know, next time I'm really hoping on maybe packing one bag for all of us and um, maybe even bringing clothes that we can just leave everything here, you know, bring clothes that we don't really like anymore, wear them for the week and then just give away absolutely everything we have with us because it's insane, like, the price difference and what they can and can't get here, you know. He said um, certain things like shampoo is not super expensive here but some weeks you just can't get any. He said last week there was just no shampoo. It didn't matter what store you went to, there just wasn't any. We have because to bring him the shampoo with Yeah, the because these things, you know, Cuba doesn't trade with the US so it, and, and that's their closest country and so it's very hard for them to get these things and so it's, it's hard for the people here. And it's, it's really crazy because like we, for instance with baby clothes, 
you know, the seasons change in Canada and the U.S. and we have new baby clothes every single season. And so it's like the old baby clothes go on sale for one or two dollars. And so you'd expect maybe here they could buy baby clothes for one or two dollars. But there is no changing clothes with the season. There's nothing like that. It's, it's what came here in a shipment and that's it. They're not getting any more until who knows when. And so the price is the price and that's that. Looks like they're selling a lot of the stuff that people give them. Yeah. Like if they don't need... 10 toothbrushes, but you give them 10 toothbrushes and they want 3 of them, they sell the other 2 or trade them for something. So you see a lot of people selling things in markets that are clearly given from resorts. They have, you know, the soap from the resort with the, with the tag taken off of it, but it's the same as the ones we have here. But, like, they don't need that much soap, so they're going to sell some of it and see if they can buy something else with it. It's really insane to see, like, how much you know, how much we have that's just totally unnecessary, though. I don't do it, but there's so many people I know who, like, won't wear something that's from last season just in case someone sees them and, you know, recognizes that that's a piece of clothing that was sold last season and not this season. And, and it's so insane that these are people who are wearing clothes that are from five years ago that were given to someone from a tourist and they pass it on to their brother-in-law and he gave it to his friend and he gave it to his sister and and it's gone yeah, it's from... The, the pattern's all gone on the front of it but it's still like wearable so they still got it on. And then, and then we're so worried about clothes that are not from last season, you know? It's crazy how different life is. The baby's kicking me in the wiener. What are you doing? What do you need? Hello! Stop! And that is all.